Yeah. Another walk in the gardens. All right. All right. We're 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 just we're no longer we're not cheerful, but we are no longer depressed. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get pole arms. And, um... I'm gonna top off naval strategy, see if there's any sort of bonus for having, like, one thing completely filled up, you know? Mm-hmm. Study the difficulty of a sneak attack at sea and ways that it can be achieved. You have nothing more to learn about naval strategy. You learn about a variety of long weapons, from the quarterstaff to the spear to the halberd to the glaive. Hmm. Oh, logistics and trade failed. Staring up in the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. A falling star! Pretty! Divination failed. Plus one cheerful. Well, it made you happy. Yeah, at least, yeah, our mood is steadily improving, at least. More cheerfulness! More! Walk back that rage a little bit. More flowers! <laughs> Nothing but... Man, that should have done more to make me cheerful than that, I think. Or maybe it's wearing off. Well, let's see. Gills. Well, now you've got a four bonus. I am just a... Too bad you're I am just... Out just out a, I am an school. unstoppable engine of death at this point. <laughs> well, you can command an unstoppable engine and, of yeah. death. Not until you're. And I can organize it. And I can organize it with logistics too. Yeah. Don't forget. Um. Oh, oh, I, I don't. I'm an idiot for not noticing this, but notice how there's like bonuses for like the category as a whole as well as individual subjects. Yeah. I'm kind of. I'm kind of a dope. Okay. Um. Oh, there's three distinct types of medicine. Interesting. Which I'm at minus one for, currently. Presumably because I'm just so angry that I would just kill the patient instead. <laughs> just to hear him scream. <laughs> Rub salt in the wounds until <laughs> he dies of trauma. Wouldn't gathering all the sick people in one place make them die faster? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Let's see. I still want to do more weapon stuff, I definitely, but... Hmm. Take advantage of the anger while it's still flowing While it's still you. boiling. Pull arms. And archery. All living things must suffer. <laughs> and now we can get our swordsman nut chip even higher. You learn to cut, fletch, and tie arrows. You learn about different styles and sizes of bows. Long, short, and recurve. You practice walking while carrying a long weapon. Getting the feel for its size and weight. And learning to maneuver without banging it into anything unintentionally. You learn the basic stances, grips, and positions for staff fighting, and how to block a blow without crushing your fingers. You've unlocked a new outfit. Oh. I have unpleasant news to report. Tolarist, the Duke of Sedna, has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions at the Elath border. 
Business is disrupted, and there are growing shortages of supplies. Send emergency aid, do nothing. Why not send aid? And the Royal Treasury will pay to keep the people fed. Very well. No need to have a peasant uprising. Yeah, that's true. Play with toys. Yeah. I'm getting more cheerful. And also more lonely. Tabard boosts weapons. Huh. What am I, a crusader now? I guess. Interesting. Or a musketeer. I think the intrigue one is good. Yeah, it's probably. Plus, it's got the monocle. So. <laughs> Which shouldn't be, you know, underestimated. Um. Get some more internal affairs. We actually haven't boosted intrigue in a while. Internal affairs and let's say, yeah, what the hell, swords? We have like no useful like. We have no friendly skills almost. Like you know, no trade, no <laughs> commerce, no science. It's like Although, you've accepted that you're going that you're. <laughs> Not going to be a kind leader, and so you're just going to be the best iron leader you can. Very good. Although we are very good at decorations. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna have, we're gonna have like giant, like like Nuremberg style fascist rallies. <laughs> we'll have big banners, but they won't be tasteless like the <laughs> communist banners. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, ooh, three notches. <clears throat> Countless Lake of Dis married the old Duke of Sudbury, who is more than twice her age then divorced him as soon as she'd borne him an heir in order to marry another. It was considered shockingly rude by the journal nobility, but the old duke apparently had no objection. The Countess of Dis is now married to the disinherited third sibling of the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Hellas. Currently, both duke and duchess are unwed. If either dies without heir, a title may still pass to the Countess's husband. Several generations back, the rulers of Aleth and Sedna in neighboring Talassi married. The citizens of Aloth objected to this foreign influence, and the resulting heir died in suspicious circumstances, after which the title was passed to a distant branch of the family rather than another child of the Aleth Sedna Union. You practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. You spar with a partner, trading blows while looking for openings to tag each other. You begin to work with a metal blade, getting the feel for its weight and edge as well as learning how to care for it. <laughs> My lady, there are letters for you. Another letter from Brienne. Why does she keep writing me? We were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwinnell's birthday party. That's right. Gwinnell is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury for real now. The other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwinnell and I were friends at school and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Test divination failed. Oh no. We gotta go to the party, right? Oh, absolutely. It'll be good to see my friends. Cheerful. Yay. Besides, we're military geniuses. Exactly. Our cheerful is almost at maximum, just like our anger. Just get a little less angry. Okay, what the hell, let's attend this... Go to church. You know, I get a little less angry for the, uh, party coming up. Well... Oh. Actually, you should learn one more in swords. Or in archery pole arms. 
Actually, if you do... Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. If you do either or, you can finish swords in one go. After, if you wait for more of a bonus. Yeah. You could go for archery and... Do something in faith. Don't want to do lore, because I'll max that out. Divin... You know, I keep, I keep getting, I keep, there's all, it seems like divination would be really useful to be able to do. Yeah. Archery. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future, and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. You learn about caring for your bow. How to store it between uses, string and unstring, and check for damage or wear. You will also learn that you should never fire a bow without an arrow on the string. You strap on protective gear and practice gripping, drawing, and anchoring the bow before finally loosing a shot. You practice shooting at clearly marked targets across a flat field. Uh-oh. On, on your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits! Oh no! Oh no. Archery failed! Plus three afraid! You look down in shock at the arrow, which has buried itself in your side. Outside, you can hear screams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is centered around pain. Oh no! Battlefield medicine! Failed! You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. You heard a story somewhere about pushing an arrow through the body, so you brace yourself and give it a shove. I'm not sure this is going to work, Nick. Oh, Unfortunately... Dear. This only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning a painful wound into a fatal one. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. And we just boosted our archery, too, but I guess not quite enough. What did we do to deserve this, Nick? All that rage. No! <laughs> and now the kingdom is thrown into chaos. Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her. But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and Elodie's star may rise again. Next time on Long Live the Queen. That was pretty <laughs> cool. So that's Long li <laughs> That is Long Live the Queen, everybody. Like I said, there are many different paths, many different skills, many different... Ways to die, I guess. Taking an arrow to all right, Nick. We got our we got an achievement, I guess. Excellent. Let your blood run dry. Achievement unlocked. Oh, Abdominal chain. wound. Choked on magical chains, just like that. Uh. Guy oh, said. that demon guy. Yeah, he said his hand. Did the demons turn his hand to chains? Yeah. And he strangled his wife. Oh, maybe he wasn't making it up. Well, I mean, it would explain a lot about going to prison and, you know, Ep whatever. Oh, this is- oh, one of the- one of the epilogues is just death. Huh. Is it, oh, sh shit. How many- how many endings are there? Well, there's at least eight, I guess. Oh, there's- that's two. Look, go back. Oh, you're right, yeah. There's, there's like 16. Or more. I, I mean, I don't know, obviously. There. I think there's 24, or at least there's 24 of these marks. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, that's impr that's impressive. I think I'm gonna pick this up. It's a lot of fun! Yeah, folks, I'd recommend it. It's a lot of fun if... Just, you know, as long as... If if you're into these sort of, you know, interactive story-type games, and you got you can got a place to play it where your friends won't see you, <laughs> then, by all means, I definitely would recommend Long Live the Queen.